Dust usually flies when combines churn through this field, but this year especially so, given how dry it's been. I think we've had seven tenths since July the 10th. That's not the rainfall totals Kenneth Cheatham is looking for on his 4,000 acres of soybeans in Obion County. Here he runs a combine through a field with its sparse spots. Still, Cheatham says the carryover from winter moisture, rich soils, and good commodity prices are holding losses to a minimum. The price uh, made a big difference. Had we been caught with $7 soybeans, would have been bad. But with the $10, $11 soybeans, a lesser yield doesn't hurt near as bad. We experienced two amounts of rain in 2010, not enough and way too much. It rained nearly a foot and a half on this Ashland City bean field the first two days of May, delaying planning and possibly impacting yields. Incredibly, this Obion County field was also flooded, but it hardly rained a drop here after that. Some parts of the county experienced two and a half inches or less of total moisture during the growing season. Obion County UT Extension Director Tim Smith says his farmers are still managing decent yields, though those are off by a good amount. Also a factor, a brutally hot summer of 100 degree days where it doesn't cool down much at night so plants can pollinate. Smith says there's no doubt the hot, dry weather is having a negative impact on crops. We were hurt just as much by the heat as we were by the lack of moisture. So when you put a pencil to all of that, we're talking, uh, you know, 24 to, to 30 plus million dollars shortfall than what we were last year. This year in weather just goes to show how big Tennessee really is, 500 miles from one end to the other. People in Middle Tennessee endured some of the worst floods to ever hit this state while other parts of the state were bone dry for much of the year. That would also be the case for Northeast Tennessee. In Greene County, the state's biggest cattle producer, there's a decent hay crop this year. But a long dry summer here is nothing new. We've been through since about 2005 some of the driest weather we've ever had there. So uh, we're stacking drought upon drought here, even though the droughts are getting shorter. Fall harvest is normally a symbolic time of celebration, where we see the rewards of our hard summer of work. But this year, farmers had no choice but to endure a season of extremes. This is Chuck Denny reporting.